Hey, what are you doing? I'm just going to read my notes here. That's what I'm going to do. Um, the most tragic story... <clears throat> the most tragic story in the world. Gas stations that don't sell beer. I went on a trip with a friend to, like, Chicago. I'm driving in a big uh, box truck. And it was a Friday night, so I had gone to work all day, and then I went on the trip to make it there. And it's a long drive. I mean, especially if you've been working all day. And I was like, all right, we made it there. It's fine. We got a place to stay. All I need is beer now, and then I'm fine. Like I don't like I won't even be sad. Like I won't regret anything. It's fine. I'm go to the gas station. I look around. We're like, oh, fuck. Where's the beer? I'm like, guy, we have how can, like is there a secret beer room or something? Like what's going on here? He's like, no, we don't sell beer. What? What do you mean you don't sell beer in the gas station? What the fuck are you talking about? Gas stations don't sell beer around here. We can't. You have to go to a liquor store. Where's the fucking liquor store? Well, it's late. They're all fucking closed. Never had so much trouble. It was the worst. Right? Just like the, like, are you fucking with me? What do you mean you don't sell beer in the gas station? It doesn't make any sense to me ever. Anywhere I go, the gas stations don't sell beer. It's this, what? What is your problem, man? Get it together, state. I just remember uh, my friend coming in. He didn't, but like, if like it was me, like the opposite, he would have been like, "They don't sell beer." I'd be like, "What do you mean they don't sell beer?" Like, fuck, they don't sell beer. It was just, it was tragic. It was like, it's exciting. I'm like, I just need this one thing, and then ah, uh, like it's like if you're meant to be the one, right? And I can't stop thinking about the sword and the stone. That the little kid, like, you're the one, you can do it. Like, I don't remember even if they told him he was the one. But say he knows he's the one. And he's got to pull the sword out of the fucking stone. He's like, it's fine, I'm the one, I can do it. And then he goes and he's like, like, he can't pull it out. Like, he can't pull it out and everyone's disappointing and lets everyone down. And he's no longer the hero that he was supposed to be. That's what it felt like. Um... I don't like it when people start recognizing me, but I do like it when I can limit my responses to simple gestures. TVs and movies give us the chance to observe others without the fear of being observed by them. Oh, this says kid with, kids with autism. Um, so the other day, the people were like, it's Autism Awareness Day or something. Everyone's supposed to wear blue. Like, everyone was supposed to wear blue. I mean, I didn't because I wasn't aware this was a day. But if I had, would I have worn blue? Sure. If I had a blue shirt and I thought twice. I thought about it for a second. Like, it really helps sway the process of what the fuck I should wear in the morning. Every, like, I got these shirts. I should, this one, like, when's the last time I wore these shirts? Like, ah, oh, blue autism. I'll just wear the blue one. Makes sense. It's fine. It's good. It helps move my day along. That's why I would have done it. But I thought may maybe that wouldn't be a good idea. Like, if there were kids with actual, like, autism. And then all of a sudden, everyone around them is wearing blue, right? It might set one of them off because, you know, sometimes they have those little quirks, those little ticks, those little things that are just like, Argh! and then they go into some sort of fit of rage. Frank, you shouldn't be making fun. I'm not trying to. I'm just saying they do. Some of them, like, don't like cats or they color blue. Like, everyone's surrounding them with blue shirts. It might be a bad idea. And stop using the whole alcohol is worse than pot argument to try to get marijuana legalized. You're like, alcohol is worse, alcohol is worse. Don't. All right, stop it. I'm sick of hearing that because, like, if they do make it all legal, then all of a sudden they're going to want to make alcohol illegal because there's always something they want to fight for or change or people disagree with. Because then they'll be like, well, you've been saying it for years, you fucking stoners. All right. I don't want that to happen because I like drinking a lot. Burnt my mouth on a bacon-wrapped jalapeno popper. Like, that's sad. That's sad. And it hurt. And then I couldn't taste anything after. Well, I couldn't taste the actual jalapeno popper thingy. So I got some with my buddy. They were freshly made. Like, like little jalapeno popper. And then, like, they don't have them. Like, fucking make some. They were fucking, like, waited. And then they were ready. And then we were leaving. And my buddy, it is all excited. Because his food smells great. It's like, let me get one of those nugget and jalapeno popper things. Like actual jalapenos. 
stuffed with whatever the fuck, and then wrapped in bacon, and then grilled. So they weren't like the nasty, like, like I thought, like, they were all just, like, fucking breaded and deep fried. But these ones were much more classy, perhaps. It's like fair food. Maybe something you get at a fair. It's like, I want to eat one. I'm like, don't eat one. He's like, I just thought I don't want to eat it. Like, I bought them. Like, I mean, I don't care. Just trying to say that you're going to burn your mouth. Because I bet the inside's liquid lava hot. Because we just had them freshly made. He's like, they're fine. I'm like, no, it's going to be hot. Like, no, they're fine. They're not hot. No, it's going to be hot. You're going to burn. Like, I was trying to tell him he's going to burn his mouth and he needs to wait. But I took him out and presented them and he grabbed one. He was driving too. And then he put it in his mouth and like, bit it. And I watched him because so I'm like, you're going to burn your mouth. But I think he was confused about when I was saying it was going to be too hot. Somewhere I think that he thought that I meant that the pepper itself would be too spicy. <sighs> Sorry. That he thought it was going to be too spicy, not too hot, not he was going to burn his mouth because it was just made. That it was going to be too hot because peppers are sometimes hot. So I didn't think he grasped what I was trying to say. He wasn't paying attention because he was trying to drive and his mouth was watering because he wanted to put it, wanted to eat something. So anyways, I watched him bite it and I'm like, see, you're burning your mouth. He's like, no, I'm just trying to bite it. I'm like, yeah, and try not to burn your mouth. So anyways, he eats the whole thing. And then I wait like half a second. I'm like, oh, that's probably long enough. They're probably cool. And then I do the same thing and burn my mouth. And then we both eat all of them and then never say a word about it, which I thought was weird. That's why I had to let that out because that was just, it was a fucking free sandwich lady. A, the, a lady with free sam sandwich samples the, wanted me to have a sample and then said she was going to watch my face. Like she wanted to watch my face as I ate it to see me react. To see how delicious they were, or something. It was just very strange. It's like I have a sandwich, and I'm like, ah, I don't know. I'm here to get food. I don't really want. I don't want that sandwich. All right, I'll have one. And she's like, I'm gonna watch your face. Don't do that. Watch my face while I'm eating. Uh, the more notes I write down, the more I realize I can't spell anything. Ever. This also says, your voice is so soft it's unable to penetrate my ear holes. I don't know what that one was about. Uh, I was thinking about breast cancer, because there's autism awareness and there's breast cancer awareness. People wear pink or something. I guess I was thinking like more of a sitcom show thing that would happen. Like there's a breast cancer lady with one boob because she had breast cancer. And she had to get her boob removed. But she has new friends, but now she wears like a fake thing. So like you can't tell. Unless you grab it and then like all her friends. She didn't tell about any of this. Like her new friends. Like there's a tight group of like, ah, we're all women and stuff. And uh, she doesn't wear pink on the day, but all their other friends do, and they're giving her, they're giving her shit for her. But she doesn't want to reveal the fact that she has one boob because she was a survivor, so she's completely aware. And then there should be a point where one of the friends like grab her tits or something, and they're like, "Oh, this one's not real." And then it's all oh, oh. sad and annoying. New friends scold her and grab boobs only to find out the truth. That's how that ended. Frank, that didn't sound like a good premise at all. That wasn't even funny. I know, alright? It's a work in progress. When I wrote it down, I had a better picture, and right now I just, I don't know. Something with boobs. Right? Kind of funny, kind of sad. I don't know. Don't hope for things at all. But be delighted if something goes your way. And if it doesn't, just deal with it as is. Sounds like good advice, I guess. Um, sometimes, sometimes I lie. Sometimes I lie to people about things that I like or do that distort the reality that is frank. And I say this in third person because it's the reality in which I perceive others it's the reality in which I, how I think others perceive me as Frank. It's how others see me. Because I know that 
Reality is purely based on perspective. Uh, and not the truth. Good at being invisible. I'm good at being invis invisible. I'm good at being invisible. And spend way too much energy and time trying to blend in and pretend that I know what's going on. Than actually just interacting and just knowing what's going on. So the moral of that story is that ninjas are more scared of you than they are of them. Than you are of them. Fuck that up. Ninjas are more scared of you than you are of them. That's why they're always lurking around in the shadows and being sneaky and stuff. Alright, you go do it feels right.